So what a way to end it. Three great athletes, starting with Morimoto, an eight-time competitor on the Japanese version of Ninja Warrior, and he finished his course last year. And Morimoto's not a big guy, and he's got that baby face, but don't be fooled. He's a killer on this course. This is his opportunity right now to play spoiler. Morimoto quickly threw the first two obstacles. He knows this is a strong heat with Sean McCall coming up next. The truth is, McCall doesn't have to win. Morimoto can win, and Europe would still walk away with the title because they are currently in the lead 8-7. to seven. And If Morimoto wins, Japan avoids a shutout. So there is a lot riding on his shoulders. Well, including national pride. He wants to put some points on the board for Japan. And let's not forget, Morimoto is legit. Only six athletes have ever finished our Stage 3 in Vegas in any competition, and he's one of them. Matt, how amazing is it that this is all going to be decided by the final runs in the final heat? Now the ultimate cliffhanger. Morimoto's only 23 years old, a grad student back in Japan. And what amazes me is he's only 5'4", and yet watch him. Well, he completed this obstacle last year, but it didn't have the big swing, the transition at the end to the other side. Oh, boy, the dude's going backwards. He's going backwards. Hey! Five foot four and makes the six foot transition. Rory Moto made it look easy. Drew Dreschel's competed in Japan like a lot of the American athletes, has great respect for the Japanese. Now on to the fifth obstacle, the pole grasper. And his height will make this a little more challenging. Boy, you see the little shift, trying to make up for lack of wingspan there to try to get as much bend and swing out of the stiff pole. Well, we've seen it. Casey Catanzaro, of course, had her memorable run in the Dallas Finals. But we saw, despite the lack of wingspan, some of these competitors can, what they can overcome with tremendous athleticism and determination. And he needs to start thinking about his time here. The other guys in this heat, Isaac Caldiero and Sean McCall, can finish. So it may come down to who gets there in the fastest time. Now the hang climb, basically climbing upside down on a 10-foot climbing wall. He's small, but he goes hard. On now to Area 51. Down to the final two obstacles, and as we've seen, this can be tough if you're a shorter competitor. We're gonna lock those legs in at 5-4, such a long reach. So you see him reaching with his toe, and I mean, just everything. Holding on, and the That's look of determination. Right there. That's his strength right there, grip strength. Morimoto one obstacle away. But the question here, though, Matt, did he use too much strength there trying to fight through on Area 51? The crowd wants to see a finisher. No one has made it to the end of Stage 3 tonight. But here we go on the flying bar. Matt, he looks very good there. Matt, he Matt, he he good he he has energy left here. One more play to the goal for Yusuke. Oh, this is not again. Got a second. Matt. What a performance out of Morimoto. Well, he's 5'4", but look at him turn and go across six feet and catch himself. And then, at the flying bar, did what no one else could do, make it all the way through. Right now, Christine standing by with Yusuke Morimoto. Yusuke, how happy are you that you completed stage three? Yeah, more. I'm truly thrilled. I did my best, and it all worked out. How important was it for you to be able to go back to your team and bring a sense of pride to them? It was important, but I don't know the outcome of the heat yet. I really hope I went fast enough to win us some points. You looked great out there. Thank you so much for coming out. Guys, back to you. Well, it's been a tough night for the Japanese, but Morimoto comes through.
through. And he is the first to finish stage three tonight. He's now done it two years in a row. No one else can say.